If you're thinking of moving to Portland, Oregon, you're gonna wanna hear about the amazing park system that's available to all the residents right here in Portland, Oregon. Stay tuned. I'm a local real estate agent right here in Portland, Oregon. If you guys have any questions, I'd be more than happy to talk to you guys. Or if you're coming out here for a visit, give me a call and I could set you guys up with a tour. All right, let's get into it. Today, we're talking about the amazing park system available to all the residents right here in Portland, Oregon. Today, I'm walking with... I'm Julia. I'm Julia. <laughs> That is actually Asher. <laughs> and we're walking to a park right now here in Lake Oswego where we live. Portland has over 300 parks in the city, but we have 30 parks right here in Lake Oswego. And that's not even counting all the school parks. When you move to Portland and start exploring the city, you really become aware of how many parks there really are in the city. Some of them are small and some of them are really big. Portland ranks in the top 10 best cities in the whole country for parks and green spaces. Portland actually has the smallest park in the world and the largest urban park in the United States. Some of my favorite parks in Portland that I've had the opportunity to explore, Fields Park, located right in the Pearl District. It's a very neighborhoody, small, friendly park, right smack in the middle of all the hubbub and everything that's going on right there in the Pearl. You know, it's a great place to grab a coffee, hang out on the lawn or the bench, take your dog down there. And if you live in the Pearl, there's four parks, all within walking distance. So wherever your condo is or apartment in the Pearl, you're gonna have one of these little city parks to be able to use. Actually, I have another video just about the Pearl where I cover in a little more detail about those parks. Another is Overlook Park, called Overlook Park, because it's got these amazing views of the Fremont Bridge and the Willamette River, especially at sunset or in the fall with all of the colors popping. It's a great little park to be able to hang out. There's also Peninsula Park. It's a 16 acre park, best known for the 5,000 roses that hit peak bloom between July and August. You know, this park is one of the best places to see roses in Portland. It also has a playground in this park as well, so it's definitely young kid friendly. You need to hit up those jungle gyms and swings and things like that. I know I'm always looking for those with my kids. This next one, Piddock Mansion Park, I feel is very overlooked as a park because it's more of a, an attraction, more of a tourist attraction. The views from this park are amazing of the city. So if you have a chance, if you're new to the city, or coming out here to check it out, definitely go check out the Piddock Mansion. You can go walk around, explore the grounds. You don't have to get a ticket or make reservations to go explore in the mansion. You can if you want. Just go around the grounds of the mansion. It's worth it just to take a selfie, a picture of the city. You also see a lot of hikers in the area because it's connected right to Forest Park. And another one of my favorites is Laurelhurst Park. Laurelhurst Park is in the middle of this amazing neighborhood. It's a historically protected neighborhood and the park gives you that historic feel. I don't quite know what it is about it to put it into words, but it really is a beautiful, beautiful park with winding trails that kind of go all through it. You'll see hikers, kids playing, drum circle, kids parties. It's just really, really a beautiful, beautiful park. Another one of my favorites is Cathedral Park. It is a stunning park because of the St. John's Bridge. I mean, it just frames that park magically. And when you're in the park, the bridge, you look up at the bridge and it's super majestic. I mean, again, it's hard to put that into words. You go down there, experience it. That park is really famous for the jazz festival, which they hold every summer. It is considered one of the Portland's most beautiful parks. And you can see why. There's also the Tom McCall Waterfront Park. If you want to experience a park right along the river, it's right on the Willamette and it spans from the Steel Bridge to the Hawthorne Bridge. There's tons of benches along there to hang out, take in the view. You'll see people biking or jogging. It's also really known for the cherry blossoms. 
It's just picturesque, beautiful in the springtime. Then the biggest park we have is Forest Park. I mean, this park is over 5,200 acres and it's one of the largest urban forests in the country. It has 70 plus miles of trails. You can pick up a trail right from downtown. The Piddock Mansion, as I mentioned, is right in Forest Park. Whether you want to do a super easy hike that's just going to be 30 minutes, an hour, or if you want something more strenuous and challenging, it really has it all. Plus, it's a real forest, so when you go in there, you I mean you have that sense of, hey, I'm hiking you know, in a real forest, so you don't have to go drive far out of Portland. I mean, it's literally right up against downtown on the west side. We also have Mount Tabor Park. I shot a video, which I'll link to, where we mentioned that park and go through some of the housing options right in there. Mount Tabor Park is really, really cool. It sits atop an extinct volcano. Amazing views of downtown. You know, it sits right to the east of downtown, so you're looking directly west. It's a great spot to bike, hike, have a picnic. They have kids' little play areas in there. If you live in and around that neighborhood, it's definitely gonna be your go-to place. Then, not to mention Lake Oswego Parks. We're heading to the Westview Park, which is right next to the Westview Elementary School. So you kind of get two playgrounds in one with these two big fields. So let's go take a look. This is what it looks like when I'm pushing two kids in a stroller meant for one kid. What an amazing day it is today. We've been getting rain for like the last three days pretty consistently and the rain just broke today, this afternoon. It was sunny out, blue skies, and now the, it's getting cloudy again. And I think we're supposed to get some rain here again a little bit later tonight. Right now, it's really nice out. Just put on a jacket and we're hitting the parks. What better way when the kids are out of school to get a little outdoor playtime activity in. That's one of the things I love about not just Lake Oswego. Oh, I got a special request. Okay, we're going to this park up here and then we'll go down to that one. You gotta get everybody on board and everybody happy. Otherwise there could be a mutiny. And I see some other kids out there taking advantage. But you know what? There's always so much room available on these parks. That's one thing that I'm always amazed by is that so many residents don't really take advantage of all the parks or maybe it's because there's so many parks, you know, they're never really overcrowded. Here we are at the Waluga Park. This is a smaller one, but it's awesome. Let me just show you right here. You got a huge field right here in front of us and then you have a playground right next to that. And then it butts up against to the West Ridge School, which has again, this huge field and then another playground for the school. So obviously you can't use that when the school's in session, but you know, when the school's out, you know, everybody can go use that. So what's one of the really nice things about the parks here in Lake Oswego is that sometimes you'll get these parks right up next to the school playground as well. I personally just love getting out for a walk. And that's one of the cool things about the park systems here in Portland and in Lake Oswego is that no matter where you live, you're probably gonna have a park walking distance to your house. Now for me, that's a huge positive check mark because that's, that's something that's just so convenient, being able to walk the kids, throw them in a stroller right from your house and pop over to a park kind of last minute, you know, if it's raining or in the winter, pop on those jackets, you get a break in weather, then you can just go walk over to the park. That's pretty big, you know, and just getting out, going for a walk. Even if it is a little light rain, it's not a big deal because it's a short walk away. So one thing I've had to teach my kids, there is a difference between a park and a playground, right? <laughs> uh, so, so here, you know, we've definitely learned, so we've definitely learned not all parks have playgrounds. Okay, and we're about five minutes into this park experience and we already need a bathroom break. So it is something to be aware of. Does your park have bathrooms? Now, luckily, we're right by the school. This one does have a couple porta potties right here. And I'd say about half the parks have bathrooms and the other half don't. So that is something to be aware of. 
Be right back. All right, everybody, time to put your hoods on. It's starting to sprinkle. You just gotta be prepared when you're out here. Boom. Are you prepared? Yes. Are you prepared? No. Yes. No. Am I prepared? No. <laughs> I actually didn't bring my hood today. It wasn't supposed to rain. Lesson learned for me, always bring your rain jacket with a hood on it. All right, we're kind of getting rained out here. I hope this gives you guys a little bit more insight to what the parks are like here in Portland, Oregon. I love the parks here. You got the big trees, you've got a variation of the vegetation, and you're always gonna have some kind of trees in most of the parks here, which is really nice because when you do get a little sprinkle, which is what we usually get, that light rain, you can just go right under a tree. Here, there's a couple picnic tables. We have our, have our snack. Rain stops after about 10, 15 minutes, and we can go keep playing around. But it's getting a little dark now, so we're gonna go ahead and head back. So I hope this gives you guys a little bit more insight I'm a local real estate agent right here in Portland, Oregon. If you guys have any questions, shoot me a text or an email. I'd be happy to talk to you. See you on the next one.